Julian Felix Fleury asks, are you familiar with Wolfram's attempts to unify physics as computation? If so, what are your thoughts on that? Yeah, so, 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 so of course I'm familiar. I mean, I wrote the first uh, uh, serious review or the first academic style review of Wolfram's book, you know, A New Kind of Science, when it came out in 2002. Uh, and then because of, you know, I was just a 19 year old student at that time, but, uh, you know, because, uh, uh, you know, my, the, the, uh, I was able to, to write this review and, you know, sort of, uh, you know, uh, expo you know and, 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 and actually the core of my critique back then is still the critique that I would make today. You know, namely, you know, he wants a unified theory based on classical cellular automata, you know, and this is not going to work. You know, we know it's not going to work uh, because the world is quantum mechanical. Right. Uh, and, you know, you are not going to explain, for example, the violation of the Bell inequality, you know, with a, a, a model like this one. Right. And so, you know, I explained that in my review back in 2002. And then, you know, Wolfram called me up, you know, at that time. That was the only conversation I've had with him. I talked to him for about two hours and he said, well, you know, an employee of his has uh, uh, has has. Um, proven that I'm wrong and I'll have that employee get in touch with me. And uh, uh, so, you know, I, I then talked to that employee for about a week and then, you know, the, the, finally uh, the, the, that person admitted that I was right. Uh, you know, Wolfram never changed his stance. Uh, and he, you know, he continues to um, um, say that, you know, that these models that are not quantum mechanical at their core are somehow going to reproduce quantum mechanics. And I continue to not understand how that works, how that is possible. I mean, you know, that is that is maybe, you know, I, I focus on that just because it's a particularly concrete problem, right? That's, you know, maybe the most concrete thing that I could point to. Uh, but, you know, the 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 broader issue. So, so you know, a, a year ago, uh, uh, Wolfram um, put out like a whole new set of materials, you know, on the web about uh, uh, his his unified theory of physics, right? And and I, and I read through it, uh, and I was thinking at the time of like writing a blog post about it, and and you know, and and then having having spent days, you know, reading all of it, like I was just at a loss for what to say in my blog post. You know, I'm I'm usually not at a loss for what to say, but just like give me, get you know, to just to give you a sense of it, like you know, he would say, okay, you know, with, with these models of like discrete graphs and update rules being applied to them, you know, we can explain general relativity. It just, you know, emerges completely naturally from this formalism, right? And then, you know, he would, you know, and, and then there would be like, okay, here is, you know, the Einstein field equation. And it's like crib from a, you know, from a general relativity text, you know, exactly as, as you'd see it in the general relativity textbook. And he's like, okay, well, let's just suppose that we've worked out all the technical details, you know, in order to have, you know, a, a, uh, um, a, a, a graph that gives rise to a smooth, you know, three plus one dimensional space time, like with a, a, a metric on it and so forth. Well, then guess what? You know, then it would also satisfy the Einstein equation. And it's like, okay, but, you know, you just cribbed the answer, right? Like you knew the answer from JR and you're just saying, okay, you know, if we suppose that our model could give rise to that, then it would give rise to that, right? So it's just, it's just like page after page after page of these sort of tautologies of these sort of just, just, you know, you know, you, you just look up the answer from physics and then you just say, well, let's just assume whatever we need to assume, you know, so that, so that, you know, our model would would agree with that thing from physics, but it's like you're not doing any work, right? You know, and you know that you can see that by the fact that you know you're never predicting anything new, right? You're just you know you're you know it is it is entirely retrofitting, you know, saying okay, well, well, what do you want from you know like 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 ask the physicists like okay, what is true? What do you want? Well, then let's try to graph this onto our model, right? But it's never that you know the model is telling you something that you didn't already know. Right. So this is like this is a known failure mode of scientific theories. Right. And, you know, I just it, it's it's it, it's very difficult to sort of articulate, you know, everything in, in words, because because, you know, I know that for each specific thing that you focus on. Right. 
you know, he and like the students and employees who work with him, you know, could just give you an unlimited number of words in response, right? And it would just be a debate that would continue forever. But I just, I feel like the burden is on them to sort of say something that is interesting, right? Say something that actually captures our attention by like telling us something that we didn't already know. And, and, and I don't, I don't, I don't, you know, and in nothing that I read that I feel like I was seeing that right now, the, 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 uh, the fact that, you know, they, they don't have quantum mechanics is maybe just the most blatant of the problems, right? It's, um, you know, like they never, you know, they, they, you know, they say that they can, you know, reproduce quantum phenomena with their model, but they never explain what is their Hilbert space, right? What is their space of quantum states? Like that's just the most basic question that I could imagine asking. And you just, you never get an answer to that question, right? Or, you know, or like they talk about entanglement, but entanglement presupposes that you have a tensor product structure. Like you have this over here and that over there. And they never say, what is their tensor product structure? Like what is entangled with what? So I was unable to map what they say about quantum mechanics onto my understanding of quantum mechanics. Um, so, so, you know, I might, I might write a blog post about it after all, even though it would be, you know, a year late at this point, because for, for whatever reason, a bunch of people have been asking me about it recently. But yeah, those are, those, those are my thoughts for the time being.